Akasha, Kuyo Nanahi no He. Sakoli, my name is Shitui Akunagwenta, and welcome to the sacred 13 moon cycles of the Medicine Wheel teachings. Before we begin, I'd like to sing a prayer song in honor of our Mother Earth. This song comes from my tribe, and it simply means thank you, Mother. Ima, Ima, Ima. Sikoli, my name is Shitui Akunagwenta. My people are the Haudenosaunee of the Eastern Woodlands. Since childhood, I was very blessed to receive deep and meaningful teachings from nature, spending much time backpacking through the Sierra wilderness with my Haudenosaunee father. During my 30s and 40s, I began studying with one of our tribal elders, Hasa Gwenta Hokanatuk, who also studied with his grandmother, Twyla Nitch. He taught me the meaning of nature as it aligns with the 13 moon cycles of our medicine wheel. Hasa danced and carried the medicine of the bear dance for over 40 years. He continues to walk on this earth in the Hokan Kiki we win, the bear medicine way. In my early 50s, our tribal bear medicine man who walked into the spirit world in 2008 passed our tribal bear dance altar to my husband and me. My husband, Kenny Hokan Panuta, a California tribal native of Wailaki Wiat descent, also received the California bear dance altar around the same time. We were both initiated to carry this bear medicine dance through this great time of the bear prophecy by our tribal elders. Our vision is to integrate our two coastal traditions to bring this great prophecy about. We do this through the bear dances and through the sharing the teachings of the medicine wheel. My people and the medicine wheel teachings of our longhouse, together with my husband's people and their teachings of the roundhouse. The 13 moon cycles of our medicine wheel, the spirit keepers of the four cardinal directions, the gifts of the four directions, and the teachings of the center circle lead us through this great time of prophecy of the bear as it aligns with a great bear in the sky, known also as Ursa Major. During the time of receiving these teachings from my elder Hasa, my life changed dramatically. As I learned our language and began to use the medicine wheel in my life, I began to connect to nature and all living things in a way I had not imagined possible. I am awake today. I hear nature today. I feel nature today. I am called to share with all who are ready to live with nature. I am merely your guide through this teaching as you awaken to nature in your own unique way. It does not matter what your lineage, race, color, religion, or spiritual path is. All leads us back to nature. I hope you'll join me. Welcome home. Yahweh!